Wow, do we have a treat for you guys today. We just met up with Rick and Sherry and they invited us to come and tour their 2024 Coachman Cross Trail 20XG. So they have named this Van Critter and it is awesome because it is on the Ford chassis and you guys know I love the Ford chassis and they are so hard to find. And at the end, we'll share the price and I think you're gonna be surprised at how affordable this thing is. So let's take a look inside. We're gonna start. Are you getting comfortable? My in word, the Bob. Bed. Starting so, in the bedroom. Yes, they actually said that it was okay for us to get on their bed. They wanted us to test it out. And I mean, look at how much, oh, hang on. Oh, and look how much room there is in this thing. It is wonderful. And they have added a foam topper. So this is super, super nice. Wow, I am so impressed right now. What's really cool about this bed is it actually lifts up so that you can get underneath it and access your garage. There's your switch. And it also goes down if you'd like a little more headroom. So this is a really nice option. Now they've done some modifications. They've added additional TV. That's so, you, so cool. So you I can't actually put love. the bed all the way up, but it is super nice to have a TV here. The other thing, talking with Sherry, is they added this headboard. What? It's like a real bed. It is. I did not even notice that. And what's cool about that is now you don't lose like your pillows, and especially here with this bed that goes up and down, you would lose them in the garage if you know you kind of like push them or you know they fall down at night so it's just a, a really nice way to you know just make it feel homey and actually really really useful yeah Love and that. then look they added this fan it's super nice that they've added some fans shelving added some shelving and i just noticed shelving right here and oh. then wait oh, oh this is what have... the bed comes oh, yes. okay this is what the bed is like hanging on and rides up and down and they have the shades that I really enjoy. Wow. I, I mean, Coachman does just a really nice job with their window covers. They just look really nice. This beautiful artwork. Yeah, that's cool. And an overhead fan. And a couple of lights. Seriously, this is so cool. I love that it's a separate bedroom, that it's a fixed bed. You don't, there's no setup, there's no teardown. It's just a fixed bedroom. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. So down here underneath the bed, it's actually kind of in its kind of normal position that they sleep at. They have, add, I think they've added these curtains. Yeah, know. that okay. looks like something she would have added. So they added these curtains, which is just a nice way to kind of separate the garage from you know the rest of it. But unlike some of the other B pluses that we've seen, you actually can't access the garage from inside. So you still have the doors on each side in the back, but you can also get to it from in here. So that's really nice where if it's like, you know, bad weather or something, you can just climb in, get in here and get what you do, need, do what you need. Can we just take a moment for her organization? Yes, I am impressed with the organization. I love that. It looks so good. So moving on to the bathroom. And what I'm most excited about is this RV does not have a wet bath. It has a shower and it has um, a toilet room. So we'll go in there next, but first let's start in the shower. And again, we got permission to get in the shower so that we can see with our height being over six feet tall, how it would feel. And I'm in. Okay, so, oh, ouch. Oh, I, I guess it's like hard to see, but like this isn't flat across, it's up. So it's like, like a little skylight. Yeah, it's like a little skylight, like a bubble. So I definitely have that much room above my head. That is nice. And if I were to come in here, I do feel a little tall for this, but closing the door. Like, okay. I mean, oh look, two little hooks that they must have added, I bet. I would say it's not a ton of space, but it's enough space. So if it was me, I think a little more space would be nice because it does still feel a little tight. Now, again, thinking about our van, our Ford Tolaro 20A, yes, this one is like 10 times better than what we currently have, but I wanna be picky because if this is something I was gonna buy, I would want to take that into consideration. And so for me, 
I would love this to be a little bigger, but I do love it. Not a deal breaker. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna be a little picky on is the shower. To me, like I have a lot of hair. <laughs> this is not gonna do the job. Maybe the flow rate is better than I'm thinking, but this is so little. I could be like, okay, I'm showering. Again, we're in an RV, so I can't be too picky, but that's something that I think I would get a different shower head. Love this hair, body, conditioner. The last van that we toured, remember the Mathers on the map? They had something similar. I'm thinking we're gonna need something like this. Love this idea. Love the storage that they put right here for your toothbrush and stuff. Love it. But other than that, like I am a fan. What do you guys think? So I am here in the toilet room, I guess is what you'd call that. Um, and it's actually really nice. So you have this nice Dometic toilet. It's foot actuated. It is not the porcelain bowl. It's the plastic one. So, you know, if you're looking for an upgrade, you know, that would be an option, but the plastic one works just fine. No issues there. You do have a nice little small sink here with some storage underneath. And I'm always a fan of having the sink kind of away from you when you're like sitting on the toilet. I know some of the vans we've toured, it's like, like literally on top of you. So it's nice that it's kind of off to the side. It does have some nice larger storage over here. All in all, I mean, this is like a nice private place. You do have an exhaust fan over here as well. So, you know, you can kind of do your business in here and not bother anybody else. Yeah, I really like that. It has a mirror right here. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that this is an actual door with a doorknob. That is cool. I love all the storage in there. Yep, got a medicine cabinet here, your exhaust fan. So then, why is there a step right there? I would assume it's because all of your plumbing and your gray tank are kind of in this general oh, area. I don't okay. know, or I'm sorry, this would have a black tank. So I don't know. But when we step outside, we'll take a look and see if we can figure that out. Yeah, and can we just take a moment for the floor? Like that floor, I love that. And so far, we've seen the bedroom and the bathroom. Have you seen anything that you're like, that you would pick on? So if I was gonna be picky, um, the fans that they have, they're not the Max Air fans. So the Max Air fans are like full size fans. They just have a little like smaller, fan blade inside this just this unit. I like the placement of the fans. I think just the actual fan type that they've installed, it's just a little underpowered. So I would prefer to upgrade those. Okay, fair. Are you with me with the door? I love the door. Do you I love, love the, the shower I door? I love the separate space. Yeah, I'm a fan. And I don't know, I just think all in all that this is kind of a, a great use of space. So you've got your bed in the back, kind of your bathroom shower room here. And then you kind of move up to the front where you've got your kitchen and your dinette. Which, let's go. Let's take a look. All right, moving on to the galley. This is on the passenger side of the vehicle and you basically have your shower and then your refrigerator. And as you can see, there's a nice tall refrigerator with its separate freezer compartment. So this is a Nordic cool refrigerator. So a very nice unit. I like the height and the size um, with that freezer compartment. That is really cool. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> That's true. No pun intended. Here we have a convection microwave. And I mean, it's just a really nice size. It's very deep. So you can, it's actually, you know, useful. So wait, wait, can that. you just take a moment? Cause it's a convection oven. It is a convection oven. You're always complaining that that's what you would want. I do. If you're going to put a microwave or, you know, something in, it needs to A, be a convection uh, oven. And it needs to be of decent size and power because at the end of the day, this is a huge amount of space that this takes up. And so if it's not something that's useful, it's just wasted space. And well, you just don't have the room for that in these vans. So like this. Mm -hmm. Down here on the counter, we have a two burner induction stove. And this is really nice. So, you know, you can have like, you can make pasta and sauce and, you know, or, you know, a uh, Whatever. You can have two things going on at the same time. You can make bacon and eggs. 
and it, it's just nice having two burners. So this is a really nice option. Here is their sink. It's a little small and small in depth, not necessarily in kind of size. So like, you know, you put a couple of inches of water in there and it's almost full. So, you know, that would be one thing that uh, you might change. I, I would like to see a little bit deeper sink. Yeah, I do like this, though. Yes, they have upgraded the faucet and added a soap dispenser. So that's pretty cool. They've also added this kind of. I didn't know texture. they added that. Yes. <gasps> and they, oh, first I off, they did it. a really nice job. I mean, it looks really clean. It looks professional. But they, they added this after and it just, it just kind of makes it pop. I really like that. So, and maybe it is professional. Maybe they actually hired somebody. I don't know. I don't know, but it looks but it good. Looks good. And let's see. So down below, look at these nice big drawers that they have. What? What? So very Stop neat it. and organized. Wow. And I'm most impressed with her organization. Seriously. Yes. But the other thing is, one of the things I like about Coachman, they have got like nice wooden drawers. They're not just, you know, like plywood that they've kind of stapled together. These are actual like wood drawers that are, are just really nice. And then they've got these, you know, nice latches that secure everything. The countertop is also really nice. So it's not like, you know, particle board underneath or, or anything like that. It is just a nice, good, solid countertop that's well sealed. So, you know, you don't get moisture down in things and, and you know, expanding and breaking. So, so it looks like for storage in the galley, yep. you have those two. Yep, you got some overhead storage up here. Nice. And then you had that drawer and then was there anything else? Yes. So you've oh. got some additional storage here. Hold on. Hold on. You guys like seriously, look at this organization. Love the organization. Uh, and and oh, uh -oh. Wait, hold does on. that open? Let's not break it. Uh oh, don't open it. Oh, oh my, don't break oh, this. You stuff. have to kind of push down. It has okay. a child lock on it. Okay. So perfect. That's underneath the sink there. This would allow you to actually install a deeper sink. I think you'd have to reroute the drain and do some work there, but that is a pretty cool option. Moving on to the driver's side with the dinette. So up above, you have this wonderful storage up here. And these like, you know, as you can see, good positive closure. They've got latches. And again, I'm so impressed with the organization. It's even labeled. Look so at that. that. Oh my gosh, goals, like hashtag goals in this yes. van. Or yes. RV, class B, B plus. B plus goals. I don't want to get in trouble, guys. <laughs> and then they do have this nice window that kind of slides open. Wow. And then you've got the screens and the blackout blinds behind that. And then you have this awesome dinette. So oh this, my gosh, I'm in love with this dinette. I'm this seriously very easily sits two people. So you can sit here, enjoy a nice meal. And they were also telling us that they will put the table down, make this into a bed, and then they can sit here and watch their TV. Which is bam, right there. But what's nice about this is it's on a like swivel arm, so it can actually come out. They can kind of change the angle. It's not just kind of fixed in the normal position like uh, it comes from the factory. The other thing that they did was they added this nice little curtain. I mean, this is a great idea. We might even consider doing this in our van. So you've got this nice little track. You can just pull this curtain and then it has all the blackout. So it keeps all the cold air up here. It makes it really quick when you get to like, you know, camp or you're setting up. You don't have to get out individual, you know, shades and block it all out. I mean, this is just pull it, you're done. Now I did notice this ceiling fan. I don't know if they've upgraded it or if this one just came, but this is the max air fan. So it's the full size fan, which up here, especially when you're cooking and lots of heat, that's really nice that it's up here. So anyway, maybe I spoke too soon about the ones in the back. Wow, look at this. Look what? At this, like Coachman has done such a nice job with the storage options and the way that things kind of seal. Like you wouldn't even know that's there. Nope. Just I had no nice. idea that opened. So this is on the Ford chassis. So you've got just this nice Ford console. So Rick was very helpful and gave us some notes and like literally all of the specs on this thing. So. But uh, a couple key notes, it has a 3000 watt Renogy inverter, a 4000 watt generator, a 68 gallon propane tank, 800 watts of solar on the roof, and the list goes on and on. Oh, and it has dual 250 amp alternator charging. So, I mean, this thing has all of the power needs that you're gonna ever need. Uh, it's just way to go. 
So this is, like I mentioned, on the Ford chassis, and it is the 10-speed automatic with overdrive. It's the V6 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, all-wheel drive. Um, oh, and it has the collision assist and lane keep. So some really nice safety features. A 30 gallon fresh water tank, a 28 gallon black tank, and a 27 gallon gray water tank. All very, very good sizes. I love this little tray that they've added to the cup holder. I oh. know, where did they get that? I'm a little bit taller and I don't want to mess up their seats. But... Yeah, don't mess it up. Oh. Okay. My ankle is stuck. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Got in. Look at this. What is so that? They added a level to the front. Very nice. I don't know if this is stock or what is this? That looks like, oh, I'll bet you this is their digital rear view camera. Huh. So that's actually really cool. But this cup or this little holder here for your phone, I mean, come on, that is amazing. You can just set your phone there, you're driving. Perfect. I love it. All right, let's okay. go outside. I'm gonna go out this door because it'll be way easier for me to get out. All right, so sorry for the wind out here. It is a little windy up here on the mountaintop, but you can actually see downtown Phoenix over there. Yeah. So we'll start here. Um, I'm sorry, can we just take a moment? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the best feature of the exterior. No, 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 no. no. Uh, okay, so let's start here on the driver's side, right behind the driver's door. This is where you have your wow. 4,000 watt gasoline generator. Now it has the option for propane. They've set it up for gas. So that is really cool. Love that feature. All right, so this is where they have their 800 uh, amp hours of lithium batteries. So on this nice drawer, it actually can slide out. Oh, hang on, part way. So you can actually get access to them, see them, you know, control them, do what you need to do. This is your on-demand hot water heater, and this is your air furnace. So when we were in the bathroom, that's what we were seeing uh, kind of adjacent to the toilet because it sits oh, about right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is your shore power. So you got 30 amp shore power. This is actually for your water hookup. So you can, you know, your city water, this is where you can fill it, all of your rinsing and all that stuff. This is where you can access the garage. A really nice feature is these doors open really high. So, you know, you're not going to hit your head on anything. Um, and they're kind of up out of the way. And you can see they've got this nice garage mat. And here is their bed that goes up and down. And then this is what they and put headboard. on there, their yeah. headboard. Okay. Super cool. Cool. It does come with a trailer hitch that is rated for 4,000 pounds. And there's that uh, digital camera that we saw up front. Oh, okay, so, cool, cool. Nice. I like the oh. LED taillights too, those look nice. Oh, hey, that's your exterior propane connection. Okay. Very cool. So, you know, like we've got our fire pit or like our griddle, you could have those external right there. Full access all the way through. So everything from bikes, golf clubs, skis, whatever you need to put in there, you definitely have plenty of room for all that. And it's warm. So like if you're in a cold climate, you know, you don't have to worry about anything freezing. So this is really cool. There is a bracket here so you can take the TV that's in the living room and actually set it out here externally. And then you've got your power and cable TV out here as well. So you are set <laughs> oh up for, for game day. And oh with this gosh. amazing griddle, I mean, come on, this is so awesome. It has its own shelf. It stores away nicely. It's hooked what? up to your propane system. So, I mean, this is just awesome for just Bob, enjoying the outside. Bob, you've said awesome too many times. Well, it's the only word that I can, <laughs> that I've got. Oh <laughs> I'm just word. so excited. I mean, could you imagine cooking on that outside? Yes, yes I can. Okay, okay. And then this looks like your propane tank. So you've got your controls. So this is really nice because you can actually see your tank right here. You've got your gauges, everything that you need. So great cool. spot for that. This thing has some really nice suspension upgrades, but the wheels, I mean, look at these custom black rims. They are amazing. These all weather Firestone tires and it has Falcon racing shocks. So these things are really nice. I'm sure this has a nice ride going down the highway. I'm jealous. So if you look up here on the top, you can see the solar panels. It has 800 watts of solar. It has this really nice big awning that comes out. It doesn't have any arms. So like, you know, I happen to hit my head on ours all the time. You wouldn't have that problem here. We've got this awesome door. It has a separate screen door. So 
you know, you can close your screen door. You still keep the nice airflow. Then when it's cold, you can just shut this. Do you love uh, I, I having love a it. door versus a slider? Uh, yes. Well, we were talking with them before and having your, your van door open basically kind of exposes everything inside your van to the entire world. So it's nice having a door so you get a little more privacy, but you know, you have nice access at the same time. Yeah. So this rig comes with two Bluetooth apps. So you've got the Ford app, so you can, you know, do all the normal things with your Ford. You can start it and um, control everything with that. But then it also has another app with Renogy so that you can control all of your electrical components, you know, your, your inverter, your DC to DC charging. Um, you can look at your solar panels, you know, all that good stuff. So it's just really nice that you've got that remote control uh, ability. You know, you don't have to go and find the specific control panel or what have you, but. So here's where you have all of your control systems and your displays. So let's we'll see, we'll start down here at the bottom. This looks like your awning. This is your generator controls. This looks like your heat and air conditioning, which I don't think we mentioned that it does actually have a roof mounted air conditioner. So very cool. Uh, and then you have your electrical system here. So you can, like we were mentioning, you can control everything via Bluetooth, but you can also turn it on and off here. And then you've got all of your tank indicators and your tank heaters uh, right here on this control panel. All right, the last thing that we want to talk about here up front is this awesome bumper. This is actually aftermarket. They have added this and I have to say it makes this thing look pretty sick. I mean, come on, guys. It's got this nice light bar down here in the front. It just makes it look even cooler. It just makes it pop. So it does. Cool. Yeah. So who's ready for the price? The grand price that they paid in Texas was 136,000 out the door. Out the door, guys. And who did they buy it for him? Motorhome specialists in Texas. In Texas, guys. Like seriously, when we were talking to him, they told us that they knew this is the one they wanted, but they couldn't find it anywhere. Anywhere. And it's 2024, yep. so that makes sense. And I guess the 2023 and the 2024 actually have a lot of differences. They were kind of going over them with us. Um, we won't get into that. This video is way too long, <laughs> yeah. right? And also, I noticed they took off all the Coachman stickers. Did they oh, say why? No. Yeah, I think that they took them all off. Took so. all the badging off? That's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. They... <laughs> and they've only owned this thing for six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. And we definitely appreciate them reaching yeah. out to us. Thank and you, And sharing guys. it with us and letting us share it with you guys because yeah. it is an awesome rig. Such an honor. Thank you for reaching out. Rick and I have been back and forth emailing for the past few weeks trying to get this set up. Uh, they didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> so they're an awesome couple and we're really grateful to have met them. And hopefully this is the start of a new friendship. That's what we love about van life, RV mm -hmm. life any of this. And one last thing, the name. Critter is for campground kryptonite because it never goes to a campground. Yeah, they literally only boondock in this. Well, they've had it six weeks, but that's their plan to only boondock and I can see why. Absolutely. Amazing. Anyways, thanks guys for letting us see it. Yeah. I think that's all we got. Yeah. Until next time. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. guys.